Hello, I just got through mowing the lawn, and I figured, what better time to make a Vinyl Finds video? I'm nice and pink in the face, a little sweaty, and for some strange reason, I'm sitting here doing a Vinyl Finds video. That's just how dedicated I am. Anyway, um, this is sort of a redo of a video, um, during which there was an unexpected visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I won't go by beyond that. Just use your imagination and... Or maybe not. Maybe you don't want to. Anyway. Okay. So these records are from actually a, a variety of sources. Uh, the first one is from eBay. I think I got it for like five bucks including shipping. So it was a great deal. And you can't go wrong with the police. Zenyatta Mandata. Yes. Uh, you see it has a tear there, um, not a huge deal. Uh, you know, I collect it for the music, not necessarily for the value, so things like that don't bother me at all, as long as the vinyl itself is in good condition, which this one's in pretty good condition. I wouldn't say it's in great condition, but um, yeah, there you have that. Very exciting, my first police record. Then, um, these next two came from an unexpected source. Um, my wife and I were uh, browsing through the mall, and um, we happened to pass by Hot Topic, and just inside the doorway, they had a little display of Doctor Who, um, uh, like t-shirts and toys and stuff like that. And I'm a big Doctor Who fan, so we and she likes it through me, I guess you might say. Um, so we we went right in and had to check it out and then we were browsing around in the store for a while and and at that point we had had it so we headed out and then we were walking back across the front of the store um, through the mall and she looked back in the window and said hey aren't those records and I looked and said hey they are so um yeah so we went right back in and though they had a very very small selection um, they were brand new, and I picked up two. Um, there were others that I wouldn't mind having, you know, if they were like a few dollars, but a lot of them were uh, anywhere between 10 and $22. Like, they had some Beatles records for $22, the reissues. You may or may not know that those are, are um, have been re-released on vinyl. Anyway, so the first one... Actually, I'll start with this one. The far first one is Underworld Barking. And I basically know them uh, from their contribution to the uh, train spotting. Yes, train spotting soundtrack. Yeah, thanks for the assist. <laughs> um, yeah, from the train spotting soundtrack with. Their song, Born Slippy. Born Slippy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have a very limited knowledge of them, but that one song, I think that's by far the best song on the on the album. My wife would probably disagree, but anyway, um, yeah. But that it, just based on that track alone, I figured you know what, and these, like the the, the sticker price on this. I don't know if you can... Where am I? Where am I? Yeah, the sticker price on there is, I think, eighteen ninety nine, And it had been marked down to $11.90. And guess what? It rang up at $5.98. And this is a double album. Wow. Wow. So I'm excited about that one, as you can tell. Again, these are brand new, still sealed. Haven't listened to them yet. Um, the the second and last one that I uh, picked up at Hot Topic of all places, um, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge Death Cab for Cutie fan, and also a, a fan of uh, the Postal Service. Um, but the person that ties those two bands together is Ben Gibbard. So, 
after we have Ben Gibbard, Former Lives. And, again, the, the last album was like that too, the last one I showed you. But again, this is one reason I love vinyl. It's, it's truly artwork. Look at that. It's beautiful. And you just can't get that on a little CD or worse yet, the little tiny cassettes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm very excited about this one. There's the back side with the track listing. Very excited about that. And then, um, from a previous video, I think two or three videos ago, um, I was looking at a website called Feedbands. Uh, Feedbands.com. And they're kind of a unique website, and I really like it. It's it's sort of a twist on the old record club um, uh, concept. Um, I don't know if you remember that, but BMG and Columbia, I, I think they were the two competing brands, and and they both had this thing where you get 12 CDs or or cassettes or whatever um, for like a dollar ninety nine, and then you have to buy like four more within the next few years. At, sky-high prices, basically. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, Feed Bands um, is kind of like that. However, what they do, they take unsigned bands and they kind of put them through a voting process. Um, there's a Feed Bands app that you can download. And it, it just plays what appears to be random songs and and people vote on them and I guess whoever gets the highest votes uh, becomes that month's, that month's featured artist so you go to feed bands, you subscribe um, I believe the first album is is still free um, after that um, you, you have to pay full price and um, yeah so the kind of unique thing about it is you don't know which album you're going to get. It's just a surprise. And the reason for that, they say, is they want the way you discover a band to be when you first listen to them on vinyl. Um, they think that's the best way to discover new music. And so that's, that's why they have that kind of secret process. Um, or process, if you prefer. Yeah. So anyway, without further ado, I did receive my free album, and this is what it is. Unknown Relatives. And, let's see. I'm not sure what the name... I assume that that's the name of the band. I'm not sure what the name... It, maybe it's a self-titled album. Um, yeah. But there's the track listing. And right there, you see vinyl release by Feed Bands. Yeah, sort of interesting artwork. Funny thing is, I have no idea what this music sounds like. So, um, that's that's kind of the the fun of of Feed Bands, and it helps if you're an eclectic music lover like I am. Um, but they do guarantee that the music will rock. Um, but it, my experience has shown with their Feed Bands app that not all the albums would rock in the strictest sense of the, the word. Um, yeah. Um, but let me tell you, I liked about 99% of the songs I listened to, so um, I'm, I'm sure this is going to be great. Anyway, those are just the few vinyl finds I, I procured um, within the last uh, week or so. Um, yeah. So, this again was a redo of a, a previous video. Um, that one, I actually did the unboxing of, of the Feed Bands album, but, you know, it was, it was all a lot of hype for really nothing. So, But anyway, um, thank you for watching, and 
Um, at some point, I'm going to get to those. I, I, I keep all of my new records in a queue, and and I'm, I'm slowly working my way uh, to the most recent. So um, those will be the uh, some of the last ones I, I get to. So, Although, as you may know from the, the last video, I did get a bunch uh, actually today. Um, yeah. So be sure and check out that video because there's a lot of good records in that one also. Um, Alright, well, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.